Praise the Lord, everyone. God bless you, everyone. This is Prophetess Kimberly Hargraves, and I'm excited about today's broadcast. I'm going to take you on a journey, and I'm going to show you how God can change your life around. Right now, a lot of people are hurt. You're discouraged about your situation. Maybe you are in a dark place, uh, a struggle, and you can't figure out how everything's going to come together for you. Well, I'm going to turn, you know, to my Bible, and you can follow along if you want to follow along. Matthew chapter 8, 14 and 15. That's Matthew chapter 8, verses 14 and 15. And I'm going to show you when God comes in your life, your life will never be the same. So right now, you may be sick in your body. God can heal that because we serve a true living God. You might be depressed. God can set you free from all negative emotions. You may be discouraged. Well, God can encourage you with his word. You know, you may feel lonely. God can, you know, give you companionship. You know, He, the Holy Spirit is our comforter. Whatever you are in right now, God can intervene because we serve a God that does miracles. He can intervene and he can provide you a miracle. He can give you a miracle. So turn with me to Matthew 8, 14 and 15. So this reads, when Jesus came to Peter's house, you know, he saw that Peter's mother-in-law was sick, lying in bed with a fever. So Jesus, he touched her hand and the fever left. And she stood up and she began to serve Jesus Christ. She began to serve God. She began to serve him. So let's look at this picture. So here this lady, she was sick in the bed. Who knows how long she's been laying in bed, how long she's been sick in her body. But then it took Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jesus Christ of Galilee. He came into her house, into her environment, and he just touched her. He touched her, and the fever broke, and it left. That is powerful. He just touched her hand, and it left. So she was sick. But then after one touch from God, one touch from God, she began to serve him. So many people right now, you just need one touch from God. One touch from God to turn your situation around. One touch from God to set you free. That's all it takes sometimes. Just one touch from God. I come to prophesy tonight that God is going to touch you. And turn your situation around. He's getting ready to touch you and turn your situation around. Somebody just say, bye-bye negative emotions. Bye-bye financial struggle. Bye-bye lack. Because God is getting ready to touch our lives. You have been down too long enough. Get ready for divine interventions. Right now, you're probably in a place where you don't want to serve God. One touch from God, one encounter from God can change your life around. One encounter from God can change your whole life around. Paul, you know, uh, the Apostle Paul, he had one encounter with God. One encounter with God. He was on the road of Damascus on his way to go kill and murder some Christians because he thought he was in the will of God. But God intervened. One touch from God. He said, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? One touch from God, one encounter from God. And it changed his life. And this man wrote half uh, of the New Testament of the Bible. Come on, somebody. One touch from God. Maybe you discourage. Maybe you just feel like giving up. Maybe you feel like you don't have any hope. God can touch you right now. Do you believe the same way Jesus Christ touched Peter's mother-in-law, that he can touch you too? Somebody's been crying all day. Somebody's been depressed all day. Somebody's just tired. 
Somebody's really thinking about checking out of here and taking your own life. That is not the answer. Suicide is not the answer. Maybe you bound by a fear and anxiety. Maybe you bound by just alcohol and, and drugs. One touch from God can set you free. Maybe just in over your head by the cares of this life. And you're just tired because you're just, you just looking around and you see everybody else being blessed. But you're asking God, God, when is my time, God, to get blessed? God, I'm tired of, of the people that's not serving you looking like they're more blessed than me. One touch from God. I don't care what sickness you have. I command right now all sickness to leave right now in Jesus' name. We take authority over the spirit of infirmity right now in Jesus' name. We, we command that spirit to come up out right now in Jesus' name. And I send forth the fire of the Holy Spirit to touch you right now from the top of your head to the soles of your feet in Jesus' name. Maybe you need a financial miracle. Well, God, right now, I pray that everybody's finances and underneath the sound of my voice, will be blessed in Jesus' name. They were prosperous in Jesus' name. You know, maybe you, 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 you're you sick. Maybe you uh in, in a small location, a small place. Well, let me prophesy. God has a miracle house. He has a miracle house with our name on it. And I'm putting myself in it because I'm believing God to do some things in my life as well. He has a miracle house with our name on it. God does work miracles. He, he is the creator of the universe. He parted the Red Sea. Maybe you're being persecuted for doing the right thing. Hold on. Because great is your reward. Great is your reward. Your word, your, I'm telling you, your reward is in heaven. Maybe you're being slandered. Maybe somebody is talking about you. God does vindicate. There are times in my walk where people, they just didn't like me. You know, they didn't like what God was doing in my life. They didn't like the anointing that's on my life. They didn't like the books that I'm writing for God. They just didn't like me. I didn't do anything wrong to these people. But you know what? I took it in prayer. And that's the word for somebody today. You need to take it in prayer. I took it in prayer. I prayed and I gave it to God and I blessed them. And when I say God vindicated me, he vindicated me. And everybody that's done me wrong, they come back, they apologize, or they even bless me somehow, some way. So you don't have to take matters in your own hands. God cares and God sees every pain you're going through. He sees your heartache. He sees your pain. You are not in the situation alone. You know, maybe you're just tired and you just need a breakthrough. You Maybe you need a touch of, you know, a, a touch from God. Maybe you don't have peace. You haven't been happy in a long time. Maybe you haven't even experienced real joy, real love. Somebody out there just don't feel love. Somebody out there just don't feel like nobody cares. I heard the word abandonment. Maybe you feel like it's just you against the world. You are not alone. Maybe you, 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 you just... Just give up. Well, today, I want you to try a different route today. I want you to have an open mind today. I want you to have an open heart today. The same way Jesus Christ touched Peter's mother-in-law. He touched her. He just touched her. The anointing on his life. The presence of God on his life. That fever, that sickness, that limitation, that impossibility had to go. It had to go. It could not stay. I'm here to prophesy to you today that that sickness, that pain, that limitation, that stumbling block, that impossibility, it has to go. In Jesus' name, it cannot stay. I feel the presence of God. I feel the anointing. That fever left her. He just touched her hand. One touch from Jesus Christ. One touch. And she didn't know Jesus Christ before he touched her. But after that encounter with God, after that one experience, one experience with Jesus Christ, she began to serve God. She began to serve God. You know, so I'm here to prophesy to you today. 
one encounter with God. Maybe you feel God right now. Maybe you feel heat right now. Maybe you're crying right now. Maybe you feel something lifting off of you. You know, maybe you feel a burden breaking off of you right now. Whatever you feel right now. Maybe you feel something in your heart drawing you to this message. Maybe you feel, you know, something in your heart convicting you. A pull, a tug. And you just find yourself feeling sad. Maybe you feel something you have never felt before. Well, this is your opportunity to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. This is your opportunity to have one touch from God, one encounter from God, to change your whole life. This is your opportunity. Will you take this opportunity today? Will you take it today? Years ago, I didn't know God, but that one touch from God, when I went to this church, it changed my life. Look at me today. I went from partying every night in the club, just doing bad things in life. People talked about me and say, oh, you're not going to make it. You're going to be pregnant before you get 12 years old. None of that was true. None of that was true. I didn't get pregnant until I got married at the age of 21. You know, I have, I have uh, two degrees, two degrees and so many certifications and qualifications. That's nobody but God. One touch from God changed my whole life around. One touch. I had, an, I had a, a, several visitations from him. But that initial touch from him, I was hooked. So I just want you to touch and agree with me right now today. And let's give our life to Jesus Christ. You know, repeat after me right now and say, Lord, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. Romans 10, 9 says, and maybe you backslid. This is your chance to as well. Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, I will be saved. So God, I believe that you died. Jesus, I believe that you died for my sins. Say it. Say it right now. Lord, I desire to have a relationship with you. Lord, I, I, I just repent. I confess my sins, God. Wash me in your blood. In Jesus' name, somebody right now, you just feel so dirty. You don't feel clean. Well, I'm here to tell you today where sin abounds, much more grace abounds. Where sin abounds, much more grace abounds. You know, he says in the word of God in Isaiah, chapter Isaiah, verse 1. He can wash those crimson red stains. You see the color in my lips? I have red lipstick on right now. You know, he can wash that crimson red stain and wash it white as snow, white as the wool. Come on, somebody. You know, wool is white, sheep's wool, right? So it doesn't matter how big you think your sin is, how big, you know, you, you, you feel like you messed up in life. This is a second chance. We serve a God of multiple chances. We serve a, a life-changing God. One encounter with him. I'm telling you, you can change your whole life around. I went from partying every night. You know, people in, in high school, when I went to high school, I had to stay two weeks behind everybody else to finish up because that's how many tardies and absences I had. People looked at me and it's like, she ain't going to make it. She, she's never going to be anything in life. But one touch from God changed my life. And I'm here right now ministering the gospel of Jesus Christ to you. One touch from God can change your whole life. So if you gave your life to Jesus Christ today, just know that the angels in heaven are rejoicing. They are rejoicing over you. They are rejoicing over you. And welcome to the body of Christ. I want you to stay connected to this ministry. Stay connected. Get in the word of God and start reading the word of God over your situation. Start reading the word of God in, in your life and get it into your heart. And I want you to stay connected and get fed and Connect with somebody that's going to hold you accountable. Amen. So I love you guys so much with the love of the Lord. And I will see you guys next week for the next broadcast. God bless. So you guys, I just recorded the broadcast for World Harvest Radio. And that broadcasts in South America, different nations down there, Central South America, and some of the Caribbean islands. So I'm excited. I know in South America, they believe in a shaman. 
you know, witch doctors. It's a lot of voodoo and stuff like that down in there. So maybe you feel the presence of God. I feel his presence. It's a, such a sweet presence here. Maybe this message blessed you. If it blessed you, share the broadcast. You can support what this ministry is doing. Partner with this ministry. We need your financial partnership. Each broadcast costs $49. But we are making an impact in, in this region because they need God. We all need God. We all need God. I went to Peru 2011, you know, and I know God's getting ready to send me back soon. I'm going to raise up a team. We're going to go down there. Amen. So plant a seed in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Plant a seed if you support this ministry. Plant a seed today. Go to my website, KimberlyHargraves.com. The information is at the bottom of the broadcast. And sow a seed, sow a, a faith seed. This is good fertile ground. It's not only good ground, but it's fertile ground. And there's so many miracles that people have testified and say, woman of God, since I sold in your ministry, this happened to me. You know, if God did it for them, God can do it for you as well. So I'm excited. You know, please check out the magazine, Rejoice Essential Magazine. It's a free Christian magazine to you guys. You know, check that out as well. You have access. Go to my website. Click on magazine. Also, check out eight books. Eight of my books. I have eight books out right now. I have another book. It's a pre-order book. Set the captives free. You can go to my website and get that as well. These books are life-changing. One book can change your life. So I love you guys. I thank you so much for subscribing to this channel, for supporting this ministry. I couldn't do it without you guys. So you have a God-blessed day.